Okay, so this is part two of our tutorial. Uh, let's continue doing this uh, by making this part here. Uh, so these details here, inside details, uh, we, would, we won't be modeling them. We'll be using uh, our bump maps uh, for that. So we'll make a bump map in Photoshop to uh, bring in these details. So let's continue. Yeah, we'll go to wireframe. Um, make sure everything is working. Uh, so should we I think we can select this face here maybe no let's just select this vertex at the top and uh, extrude it to follow the curvature the curve of this shape so we can add don't add a lot of details uh, uh, the more vertices you add the more work you will have to do and uh, it will also be hard for you to bridge uh, the faces connecting here, so you should be aware of that. So you should add at least as many as vertices as uh, this loop has here. So let's connect that. So we have something like this. And uh, since this is the center, this loop is in the center of this entire uh, shaver. Uh, we don't have to move it in the in the in the front view. So <clears throat> now we need to bridge this here, so we can add a face here. And uh, you can see it's now just a triangle. So if we add a loop in the middle here, uh, we can use. Let me see if we use Alt S. Does it help? Uh, I found that uh, sometimes this kind of um, moves it in a different angle that I don't want. So uh, if you go to this here, uh, these are the transformation orientations. Uh, you can hit plus, <clears throat> make sure you have a face or an edge selected. Uh, you can hit plus to get a transformation orientation that is uh, that is following the normals of uh, of the selected, the, orient the normal orientation of are the selected uh, vertex, vertex or edge or face so we can move this along this line here uh, because we want to give it that smooth uh, curvature that uh, this uh, has also so we can just use the this here and uh, later we can use uh, the bevel tool as uh, this this tool here to add more loops like that uh, but uh, we want to just keep it to one loop for now, uh, so that is easier for us to, to bridge other uh, vertices. So another thing you can do is, uh, you can see this here. Uh, this, uh, you ca we can just use, let me see, can we just use that? Maybe we should do the same trick here. So I think there is an extra loop here, but so we can move, let me see. If I bridge this, like if I bring this here and bridge it like so, and add a loop here, let's see. I think this has also the same orientation as this, so I can just pull it like this. You can also isolate uh, the object by hitting the forward slash on your numpad to see how this is coming along, and I think this is good. No, it's supposed to be more. Let me go to front view. I can also hit Control One to go to the back view to see how that is coming along. Uh, we need to move this back a bit in the in that direction, a little bit like that. So let's bring it back. I think uh, we will work on this here later just this loop here, uh, but uh, we need to first work on these loops here, so push this. So what we can do is I see, because I'm going to be doing the same thing over and over, I just need to get uh, the right uh, amount uh, that, I might, uh, that I need to push uh, this edge outside uh, so that I, I just repeat it for every other bridge we make. So let's see, uh, the values here that uh, 
you can look at let me see okay so they are up here they moved them up here so let's see by let's move it by i think point mm. 0 0.21 is that enough i think it's enough so we can just bridge this and this bridge and this and this so if we go to isolation mode you can see the shape we are coming the, the shape is coming out so i think we can also move this a bit down like this and uh, move this down a bit like that um we are going to need uh, we can select this and this hit f to turn it into a face and also select this edge subdivide that so that we have a loop like that uh, we can go to back mode control one and uh, move this like this and uh, bridge this with this and this with that so we have that you can see how the, the curve is coming along uh, very nicely so let's isolate this and isolate this again and <clears throat> see where we need to add more loops i think this is going in so to to move out of this orientation you just go back here and select uh, whatever or other orientation you want to use so let's see let's see See, I think there are a lot of loops here, and uh, there are more vertices than there are loops here. So I can remove, dissolve one loop here, so that I only have to deal with one uh, vertex. So uh, since we already have bridge these faces here, we can just hit F to just bridge uh, the vertex and then subdivide that. And if you want, you can just bridge this with this this with this and then uh, pull this out uh, just select the edge uh, this edge here uh, because it's the only orientation you want oh uh, actually uh, the orientation you we got here when we click this plus has already been saved so we can just use that by selecting it back and uh, we can use it to push this out like that not too much just you can also go to front view to make sure that uh, it's not going outside of that and now we just go to edge mode and uh, bridge okay it seems there is a loop here uh, but uh, I think we can just add a loop here for that maybe move these uh, make sure you are in the right orientation if you're not moving this but vertex Okay, so now we need to, let me see, let me see, what do we need? We can get this face and this, then subdivide, uh, select the orientation we are using. Uh, make sure you're just moving this. And then we can read this and this. If you hit W on your keyboard, you can uh, temporarily uh, disable this gizmo here so if you have it here because I uh, can see sometimes it gets in the way of selecting things but uh, if you hit W you can hide it for a while for a minute and then you can select it back there so again let's go to isolated mode you can see the shape is coming uh, quite nicely now we just need to work on this area here so if we select this face and this we can read them and then add a uh, loop there and move this as well out push it out a bit like that around there and then we can uh, bridge these faces or edges like that we might need a few more loops here but uh, let's see let's see uh, I think we can if we add a loop let me hide this do that and uh, then subdivide these edges. Select this vertex. Now we can push it out 
like that and can go back to the back mode and just drag it inside a bit maybe push this out select this and this connect them and then connect them and then also connect this I think we are, we need an extra loop here so let's see how this looks so far this is good this is good so we can come in and uh, let's go to bring back the reference images and see we can see if we selected this loop here up to around there can we add bevel this to add a few extra loops let's see let's see how does that look doesn't look bad but uh, it's making this too sharp so let's undo that and, uh, so let's just add a, ro a loop around here and then select it select the entire loop go to front mode or you can go to any mode and then select the uh, the edge orientation and uh, we can push them out just a bit like that and uh, slide uh, this loop here inside just a bit and push it out a bit as well now let's isolate this and see how this is coming along I think we have a nice base shape to start with uh, so uh, before we add in any details we can start working on this top part here and uh, I think we can look at that in the next tutorial thank you